Hello, I'm Nick Davis at Rose Holman Institute of Technology. This will be my sixth season. I'm our defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. Uh, we had an awesome season last year. We were the first team in school history to qualify for the NCAA playoffs. And then uh, my contact information I will have at the end of this slide. Let's get started. Uh, one of the big things we say here is if you want to be good at something, that you need to emphasize it and practice. Uh, so things I'm going to be talking about today is taking the ball out of DB and wide receiver drills. Uh, we do one-on-one -on -one drills without the football. Uh, we do two-man concepts without the football. And then uh, we'll do full field concepts without the football. Uh, we feel that if your defensive backs and wide receivers are worried about the football, maybe they're not worried about the technique that you want to teach them. There's a time and place, whether it be Skelly or team, that yes, you're focused on the football, catching it as an offensive player, defensive player, making sure the offensive player does not catch it. Uh, but as we try to teach our technique, we want to make sure that we're not having the football in as much as possible. So we'll start off. Here is uh, our corner versus wide receiver. Um, simple drill, the quarterback's coach gives them a, a route to run, and the receiver's coach talks to them about how to run the route based off the leverage. And then we have our defensive back playing a few different techniques. Uh, we're a huge man team. We play lots of different techniques, whether it be off man or press. Here we're playing press inside leverage here. Uh, we tell our corner to take one jab step with his inside, let the receiver make his release. Then he can be physical with his hands, and then he just wants to get in phase with the route. So there's a good clip of our corner doing that. So next clip here, we have our safeties now. Uh, we're a huge outside leverage team with our overhang safeties uh, because we always have a guy in the middle of the field playing the post and we always have inside help. So we want to play outside leverage to stop the RPOs. And uh, so here we feel routes that beat us are slants and corners. So in this period, we can't get enough of the offense running slants and corners here. So uh, here's one of our safeties. He gets a quick out. He sees his man break, sees those hips lower, knows he's going to make his break. And then he's already in really good leverage. The quarterback's got to make a really good throw. Uh, we're fortunate enough in practice to have two different views sometimes. So here's a view of the wide receiver making his release, and it'll show you our overhang safety with good eye discipline there on the hips. There's the hip sink and he's making his break. Now his foot, his feet follow there. So here our corner again, we'll alternate corner uh, safeties. He's gonna motor out with his feet. So watch his feet here. Sometimes in our press, we want it to appear physical, make that receiver try to make a, what we call a shifty move. And then we're gonna motor out with our feet, just buzz our feet backwards. As he makes his move, now he's gonna be like, oh, he's not there to be physical with me, I need to get into my route. So it allows us to appear like we're gonna be physical, we'll motor out, and then he dictates where he's going. Here he's gonna make an inside release, and we stay right in phase. Now this is a vertical, you'll see right here. So we start head up with our corner. On the snap, we go outside. So Ray's thinking, hey, I'm gonna shift him inside, all right, shake him inside, and then go over the top to run my vertical. At this point, now Alec is outside of him, all right, playing outside press, all right. And Ray's like, well, now I just need to go run my vertical. And we're getting him off his landmark, and then we're running there in phase. So here is our uh, safety now, playing outside leverage here. This is a, a rep of now we get a radical release with our outside leverage. Instead of us radically going with him, we're just going to flip our hips. Now the receiver stems back inside and we speed turn. We always say here, if you speed turn, you're going to make yourself right. All right. Not the best clip of it, but if we get an out, radical outside release, we'll flip our hips. If he comes back inside, we're just going to speed turn. Remember, for our base defense, we got help right here over the top and underneath with our linebackers and our high hole safety. So here's a good clip. This is actually a safety for us playing corner. He's gonna buzz his feet, motor out, all right? He's not the most gifted athlete, all right? Uh, but he's a good football player. He's gonna motor out on the snap. Receiver makes his release. He knows now he's working a vertical outside release. He's gonna get in phase. 
and just run with them. All right, we want to force quarterbacks at our level to throw that hard pass as much as we possibly can. So there's Tyler running in phase with them. All right, uh, and we'd like Tyler to widen them a little bit more. Here's a clip of our safety. All right, Mike makes his break, gives him a little sugar. All right, a corner post corner here, and Derek gets a little off balance. But we teach the counter punch here, and Derek's really strong kid that he counter punches and that keeps him upright and he stays in that route. Again, like I said, with us playing outside leverage, the toughest vertical route we see from our inside slot position is the corner. So as many of these reps we can possibly get, uh, the better for us. Here we're back to our corners now. Uh, we'll go to the end zone shot here. Uh, the receiver's gonna run a slant. Working his move, we miss on the hands, but then we get back in phase, all right, and then get back into that little slant window or uh, hitch or hash route, whatever they were trying to run here. Our last rep on the outside, we get another corner. So we tell our guys to have confidence and patience in their skate technique. They're gonna skate, skate out, all right, and then figure out what's going on. Here he feels like, okay, I got a vertical release, so I'm gonna run with him. Now at this point he knows this guy is breaking to the corner. I'm going to roll, get my left hand inside on this corner and just run with him and have him bring me through. Now, it's not the greatest clip of him being able to run with him after the technique, but he's pretty patient. He gets his hand in there. And again, we're making that quarterback throw the longest throw on the field from the middle on that corner route, and that's what we want here at Rose Holman. So here's the end zone shot of it, staying in good phase. So then we take that drill, and now we're running two-man concepts with it, uh, without a quarterback. Uh, I think this is more realistic for the defensive side of the ball, and I like this because now the offensive guys just can't run unrealistic routes to win the drill. Uh, they're gonna run a route within their system and they gotta worry about the spacing of the other receivers. Here we give our guys the ability to do a uh, read both of number two, or they can play straight up man. Uh, this clip, our corner and our safety are both gonna read number two. If two goes to flat, the corner will then own number two and the safety is gonna look up number one. So in this case, we get two to the flat. We tell our corner, that he can keep sinking until the quarterback would then take him to the flat. Obviously, we don't have a quarterback here, so Alex's gonna be pretty antsy, get to the flat, and then our safety now has all vertical of number one. In this coverage, they know that they'll have some sort of inside help uh, with low from the linebacker, uh, so they won't be as aggressive on a, a hook route like this. But pretty good shot there. Uh, we have the end zone, which just shows really the corner but that's a good shot of seeing his eyes transition from one to two and then the communication it takes there to the safety. So again here, now we get a, uh, a later flat route. Our offense uh, calls this the sail, so they get a flat and a sail corner and a pretty good job there with the communication and our guys reading the routes. So here, our corner and our safety decided, hey, we're gonna play straight up man. So it's the same drill we did earlier. Just now there's two guys going, get a lot of reps this way. Pretty good with our corner. We try to be physical within the route, not at the line of scrimmage. So let him release. He's going outside, now be physical with him. Not too bad job with our safety, but now he's gotta run a little bit quicker. All right, again, we have help over the top and he knows that. So I think he's being a little slow, all right, um, on the vertical, knowing, hey, I have help over top. I just need to funnel this guy to my post player. Last one here of the two-man concepts. They're running slants, all right, with a vertical in the middle. It's covering our routes across the board. So then we take that drill and we put full field. This day it happened to be all middle of the field two by two. Some days we could be on a hash three by one. You could be empty some days. You could have a wing, a tight end attached. 
it doesn't matter. We kind of have themes of the day. So we're playing our base defense against four wide receivers. Um, normally our post players is watching a quarterback. So this is a little unrealistic for him, but he's gonna pedal and he's gonna watch different routes. But everyone's playing their man coverage technique and every receiver's running their route without the quarterback there, without the ball. Worried about their technique. Winning their route on offense, defensive, all right? Making sure we cover him, all right? So here we get a hook concept, both sides. We usually tell our safeties, if your guy's going to the flat right now, because we're pressed so much, that play over the top of the corner, you're gonna see to the bottom, we kinda get picked. To the top, we're a little better. Just getting, covering our route, not worried about the football. I feel when you add the football in, and you do skelly sort of drill, then the technique of them Focusing on the football is not there. So next clip here, quick game. Everyone's making their breaks on the man. Uh, we'll point out this break here by Nigel Hensley. Sees the break, got his foot, and he accelerates through, gains ground there. And I tell them the difference as I'm talking to Vince over here, as when Vince makes his break, foot's in the ground, his other foot's in the ground. So we want to gain ground always. When we make our T-step or whatever break we're making, we want to gain ground and accelerate through the receiver. So a good example of everyone ran the hitch route and Nigel's the first one there because he made a great break. So here we're getting a, uh, a mash concept down here to the boundary and then to the field, same thing. A little smash concept. Pretty good across the board besides our safety here on the corner. All right, but he knows he's getting pushed off a little bit. He knows that's the longest throw, and that's the throw that uh, we have no help on. But uh, to play that nice and tight, and if he breaks, we prefer him to be out here on this hip. But pretty nice job across the board. Uh, there's the end zone shot of it. Here we get a uh, quick game concept, both direction. Um, this is a quick out and fade. Over here is a uh, hitch and a uh, stick route. Pretty good shots of our guys breaking. We know that we have pretty good leverage on this so we can be a little bit more patient on the, the quick out here. And that's a tougher throw for the quarterback. So pretty good rep for all four defensive backs there. Next clip here, we get the hook concept. Pretty good shot of Kenny playing over the top because we know we might get a switch vertical, a wheel route, so Kenny's gonna play over the top of this. If they throw a three yard flat, we're gonna go tackle it, all right. And then our corners on the hook routes. Not the, the best job by either of our corners on these routes, probably would go to there in, in a skelly situation. Next clip here, we get uh, verticals by the middle guys and, and slants by number one. So you see our guys' safeties overhang, see the vertical, so they're running with the vertical routes. And our corners right now see the slant, and our corners know that they're going to have help inside from each linebacker in our coverage so they can be more aggressive on the backside um, shoulder here. And uh, in the end, it's a beautiful picture for us. We got these guys bracketed to our high hole safety and uh, our corners are taking the slant routes to our two linebackers. So in a skelly situation, we got a linebacker, linebacker, corner, corner, safety, safety, safety. We're own in the middle of the field. In our base defense, that's what we want is to own the middle of the field and force you to make throws outside the hashes. My email address is davis5 at roseholman.edu um, so you can contact me with any more questions.